Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. I'm your Excel Guru and I have brought a new formula for you today called Subtotal. Subtotal is a pretty comprehensive formula and to study it we would be uh, we would like I would like you to review this data example that we have taken in over here. Uh, here is an example of the near a date range the names of a few agents Alex, Ahmed Jan, Dabang, Drove, Money, Raul and uh, the products these people are selling uh, the units uh, of these products these people are selling and the price of these products and the sales value which is a derivative of a multiple uh, product of units sold into the price so first of all uh, but I actually I have already sorted this data so let me unsort it then I'll show it to you how to work so this is our raw data so we need to sort it first only then would we would we be, be able to use it for subtotals so we select the data and we sort it by applying alt D S here you, this is a short code otherwise you can go in over here go to the home tab go to the sort screen and then you can sort the data from here the same level would open and you are sorting the data on agent why agent field because uh, on this on the basis of this field I would be getting the subtotals so that means you need to sort the field based upon the field uh, you need to sort the data ac according to the field upon which you want to generate the subtotal alright so we click OK and the data is sorted now now we need to s add a subtotal uh, which can be done two ways either you go to subtotal menu over here can you click subtotal or the shortcut alt D B now this is very important now pay attention <laughs> at each change in this is uh, this means that uh, Excel is trying to say where do you want me to put sub uh, calculate subtotals uh, in in which range when uh, whether whenever there is a change in the date or whenever there is a change in the name of the agent or the product units price or the sales value now this is if you see exactly equal to what it is over here so we are saying that since we uh, want the subtotals based on the agent's name so whenever the name of the agent changes over here we would like the subtotal to appear now on subtotal can be sum it can be count it can be average it can be max which is the maximum value in that range min minimum value in that range product the multiplied product of all the values in that range count numbers that is the count standard deviation standard deviation population variation variation population these four are statistical formulas I'm yet to cover these things so some count average max min product these are pretty simple things which I'll be showing to you uh, I'll be covering these topics later and remove all would remove any uh, subtotal that once you have applied it and now I'm going to click on OK and see what will happen uh, this has given us the subtotal for all the agents over here Alex subtotal is 4,55,000 uh, uh, 4 uh, 4 five two and this is for Amit Jain, for Dabang, for Dhruv and the most important thing it has the subtotals for everybody and it has a grand total also which is a pure grand total it does not include the subtotals so it is not a repetitive grand total that which is having the subtotals of all the agents also it actually has the pure, sub, uh, pure grand total that is product sold into the values so this is how we use subtotal and we can uh, there is now if you see these there is this uh, line this uh, this section that you see one two and three this is uh, a graphical representation of the groups that has been created as of now there are three groups that have been created let's go to the first one just click on one and you see this plus sign I will discuss it later uh, this is the base most core group which is the grand total then if you click on plus it will open the all the groups then you can click on two this is a level two wherein the name of the agents with their subtotal is mentioned ag along with the grand total of the total pro total range 
and if we click on three then we have the complete data and we can copy it also uh, usually the kind of screen that get copies copied is this so we select it and we can copy it by pressing ctrl c ctrl n for a new sheet and ctrl v oh so we selected this the dancing girls are over here <laughs> and uh, now we have this so this is not right so we do a control Z and now I'll tell you how to do it all you need to do is press F5 click on special visible cells only okay now press control C now you have so many dancing girls so these are around the visible cells that you see in Excel and now you go to your knee sheet and press control V and here's your data there's one more also a simpler way press alt colon control C <laughs> it's this this is really good I like this one ah, we did it by alt colon control C so you're able to copy it uh, you can add a different level also to your subtotal uh, like here I have got the subtotals I can also get the averages mentioned the min or the max mentioned for these agents let's do it uh, alt D B and at each change in we'll say okay agent which function do we want to use we say we want the max function to be used and on which criterion uh, let's say the unit sold so unit sold and here comes the most important thing replace current subtotals now if I uncheck it if I keep it checked it will give me only one value either it will give me the agents sub, uh, sum or the uh, max whichever is whichever is there so but if I want both then I have to uncheck it replace current subtotals and now press OK so OK so here it goes so it has given you the max sale for Alex which is 56 if you see this data Amit Jan's max sale is 88 and his subtotal is over here his max for sales value has also automatically appeared so this is uh, a very very good thing you can add multiple levels exactly all the variables available in subtotal which are around 11 let's see uh, all these variables can be put in wonderful thing to have and yes if you click remove all then all this to subtotals would go away so this was subtotal for you uh, the excel sheet shown in this video is available for free download at my website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com all you need to do is just go into that website and click on training files page and download the file for free and you can watch my videos from my website itself and here you can ask a question also you can also choose to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook and subscribe to me on YouTube if you believe what I'm doing is right and if you believe that sharing knowledge is good. I would like you to follow me on Twitter so that uh, uh, whenever there is a new tip which is daily uh, shared by me it becomes available to you. You can post a comment, you can ask a question on Twitter, you can go to Facebook, you can like me over there, you can then share my work you can post a question a comment over there and last but not the least you can go to my youtube channel that's where you're watching the video now and you can click on subscribe so whenever there is a new video uh, uploaded by me uh, youtube would make you aware okay there's a new video by excel made easy guru you can watch it now and also since my video count is growing on a daily basis almost I'm adding one video a day so you can choose to click on uploads it will open the search menu over here and you can type to choose in a formula uh, you can type uh, choose to type in a formula name and see whether I have it or not most probably I would be having it V L O O K up and click on search and all my videos related to VLOOKUP would come up over here. So this was the subtotal formula for you. Uh, this is your Excel Guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy Excel learning.